what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to be taking a look at the new NECA TMNT Colossus of the Swamps Napoleon Bonafrog this is a massive figure I was so happy when uh, NECA announced this at last year's San Diego Comic-Con I always loved the frogs um growing I mean who doesn't love frogs growing up it was they were, they were always one of my favorites um I love it's always nice having a ally to the turtles and then I also just I love big chunky figures so when they announced this thing I was like man that looks awesome he is massive so uh, we're definitely gonna take a look at this guy I was so happy to find him in the stores. He's really not that hard to find. I think most of my targets, there's at least two of them sitting at probably all my targets. So he's a little bit easier to find out of the uh, the bunch of the new releases. So that was nice. But let's uh, let's kick this off by taking a look at the box. The box is huge. It is a uh, it is a big Ninja Turtle box. If you can't see that, I mean, it is a massive box. You got some uh, nice artwork on the front. You got regular size Napoleon. And then you got him in his mutated form. Really nice artwork. You see uh, Bebop and Rocksteady back here. I'm guessing we are going to be getting these in figure form. Usually they like to tease us on these packages. So those will be fun additions. I am... Uh, I would almost put money on it that we'll be seeing that revealed at this year's San Diego Comic-Con. they don't, I'll be very surprised. Here we go on the back. We've got some more artwork again. They're teasing uh, Rocksteady right there. You get some uh, product shots. Looks really cool. You get some uh, information right there. Napoleon Bonafrog, Floridian amphibian punk searching for a way to tap into the hidden hunger that all frogs have again there's those product shots we got the spine of the box and then there we go get some everybody that worked on the figure there's the barcode oh the video is so much nicer on this new camera no, it's not blurry anymore. Then we uh, open her up. We get a product shot right there. Big old Napoleon Bonafrog. And there is the figure himself. So let's uh, let's crack this thing open and uh, see what we're working with here. All right, bada bing, bada bang. Here he is. My first thoughts getting him out of the package. He is big and heavy. Um, he feels very well made. I'm loving the look of it. His uh, vest is actually, you could remove it. If you, pop the arm, if you pop the arms off, you could probably take it off. So that's really cool. He, uh, he reminds me of like one of the Marvel Select like hulks or, you know, just big and massive and heavy. And I love that. Solid plastic. Feels like a really well-made action figure. Loving it. But uh, before we uh, start breaking into the figure, let's take a look at the accessories. You uh, get an extra head sculpt. Just to get like a little, uh, not really a smile, but kind of like a puppy eyes face. Pretty cool. Then you get extra heads for the regular version. Regular versions of the frogs. So, you can give Genghis, Rasputin, or Attila some extra heads. Oh, and Napoleon, I guess. So, that's really cool. Mix it up a little bit. Really, I like this one. This one's really cool. Oh, what the heck is that? It'd be funny, put it on his. Big old body. No, I'm just kidding. Then you get two extra sets of hands. So you get some open hands. Awesome. Very big. Nice. And then you get 
another you get a set of like gripping hands to hold something pretty cool really well made too they look really nice NECA does such an amazing job and then you get the uh, the blaster pretty freaking sweet that is awesome haha <laughs> Really cool, really cool accessories. Love it. That could, does not disappoint. Never do. All right, let's uh, let's check out this figure now. Get some, see if we can get up close a little bit and check out his uh, paint apps. Look at that face, really well done. I love the sculpt. Nice, angry. Mouth articulates. He's pretty, uh, it's pretty restricted because he's kind of, you know, he's got like that big old overbound muscle going on. So he's kind of uh, muscle bound there. But I love that the, oh, the necklace is actually sculpted to the body. That's not a big deal. The head, oh, we'll get to that. Then you see some of the detail on the skin. We got his bracelet there really cool i love that the vest is removable even though i'll probably never remove it but really nice paint done really well on it there's no mess ups or anything no runs just a i love the cell shading on it, it looks like it just popped right out of the cartoon look at that nice Really cool. Again, really big, solid figure. Just loving it. All right, let's do some articulation here. All right, so, uh, actually moving pretty well. So you get a nice T-pose on there. You get swivel, bicep swivel. Shoulder, it's on a hinge and it rotates. So very nice. You get double jointed elbows. Really good for a big old figure like this. You get about 90 degrees. Pretty cool. Some nice Hulk poses there. The wrist swivels. And then you also, it's on a hinge. I'm pretty pleased with being such a big figure. You get, it's pretty decent movement. Um, you get the ab crunch. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. Ab crunch, not too much. You get enough, then it rotates. You'll be able to get some good poses though. And then hips, you got the hinge and they rotate. Double jointed knees and they're nice, nice joints too. Like not too, not too stiff, not too loose. And then you get the uh, let's see the ankle here. Rotate and they hinge. Very nice. He stands very well. I mean, solid. I mean, you can't ask for better. That is awesome. I'm loving this figure. He was, he was one of the ones that just lit up when I saw the when I saw the release of him from Comic Con. I was like, I have to have that. That's one of the t first ones I'm going for. Besides the four pack, this was up there. Uh, I'm gonna do some size comparisons here. We got so we got Napoleon there. Got Chrome Dome. Chrome Dome is taller, but uh. I would say uh, Napoleon is heavier. So Chrome Dome is quite a bit taller. It's actually crazy how big Chrome Dome is. Never really realized that. So there you go, there's Chrome Dome. Stand up on me, He's got, he gets a little loose. And then here's regular size Napoleon. Oh, I 
having problems there. All right, regular size Napoleon. I mean, look at that size difference. That is, he is massive. Massive. I mean, holy moly. Holy moly. Here's uh, Genghis. I like Genghis. Genghis is also one of my favorites. And then we got to have a got to bring a turtle out. Mr. Donatello himself. Look at the size. That is crazy. What better turtle to have would be Donatello, the one that's got to fix him, reverse him. So what do you guys think of uh Colossus of the Swamps Napoleon Bonafrog? Do you pick up or a pass? My opinion you're a turtle collector. He is a definite pickup. Don't sleep on him. Get him. He's an awesome figure. He's massive. He's heavy. He's worth every penny. So uh, definitely put him up on your list. But that's all we got for today. I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure you uh, check out the giveaway I got going on. You get a chance at getting that new NECA Mirage 4-pack. I know a lot of you are having a hard time finding it or really want it. So uh, sign up for that contest and you could uh, end up with one. Hope everybody is having a great week. I'll see you guys at the next one. Thanks for watching.